Hi everyone, I'm Brian with Obedia and PC Audio Labs and today I'm going to show you how you can connect your Personas Audio Box i2 uh, digital audio interface from Personas to your iPad and then once you have it connected to your iPad uh, you can connect it up to your monitors. In this case I have some Personas Eris E4.5 monitors that we can connect our audio box i2 uh, to once we have finished our setup. This is real easy to do and let's just show you how to do it. Now connecting the audio box i2 uh, to the iPad is very simple and um, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need the USB cable that comes with the uh, audio box. And this is just a standard USB cable. You're going to need, uh, I have a previous generation iPad here, and you're going to need the connector cable uh, for that. And uh, one way or the other, you should have a cable that has a standard flat USB connector on one side, and I'll show you why you need this in a second. You're also going to need a 10 watt USB power adapter. Uh, now, you can buy these separately, but um, quick pro tip here, you can just use the one uh, that comes with your iPad, and you're going to need this because this is what's going to power your AudioBox uh, i2. So let's dive in and show you how we can do this. First of all, you want to make sure you've downloaded the Capture Duo software from the Apple App Store. This is free, it's available from Personas for free, and you need this because this is going to interface with your AudioBox i2. Now, we're going to take our AudioBox, and on the back of the AudioBox you'll notice that you have two separate uh, cables right here, two sepa separate cable connections right here. One that says PC slash Mac power, another that says device. So this is where that white cable is going to come in to play that came with your iPad. Because this one, you're going to want to connect this up to the back of your audio box i2. Now take the USB cable that came with your audio box i2 and plug this into the audio box. Now with that done, take the other end of that cable and plug this into the 10 watt adapter. This is going to go, go into the wall power source and this is going to power your audio box i2 because remember the audio box i2 even though it does get its power off of USB it can't be powered off the iPad. The iPad doesn't have enough electricity essentially to power the audio box so you need to plug this into wall power and again it's just a quick tip here use the one that came with your iPad and you should be just fine. I'm going to plug this into the wall now. Now that I have my, my audio box i2 plugged into wall power you notice that it's coming to life and it's got some blinking blue lights but the power light is blinking blue. That means that I don't yet have a connection to uh, any kind of device that the audio box can talk to. That's where this cable comes into play. You're going to take this cable and you're going to plug this now into your iPad. And again, I have a previous generation iPad. Yours is probably going to be a little different. Uh, I haven't found a need yet to buy a new iPad, um, but you don't need one, uh, you don't have to have one, because as long as you can connect up, you'll see now uh, that I've connected the AudioBox i2 to my iPad, on my screen, on my iPad screen, I now have the AudioBox i2 listed as an audio device. And I can set the sample rate for it if I want to. 44 1, 48, 88 2, and 96 kilohertz. Pretty awesome to be able to record at 96K on a tablet. Now, all I need to do is create a new session. Click here, start here. This creates a brand new session for me, and the audio box is going to be all set to start recording. Okay, so now that we have our audio box i2 connected to our iPad and we have Capture Duo opened up, everything is ready to go. We need to do a couple more things. First of all, let's connect our audio box i2 uh, to our speakers. Now to do this real easily and in the box I'm going to utilize the cables that came with my Personas Eris E 4.5 monitors. Um, now these two converters right here, these RCA to quarter converters did not come with it. You can get those at Radio Shack or just about anywhere else. But this cable is a standard eighth inch headphone jack on one side and these RCA jacks on the other. A couple of different ways that you could use this. You could also 
put a eighth inch to quarter inch adapter on this end, connect this to the headphone output on your AudioBox i2, uh, and that would work fine, and then you would connect these RCA connectors to the back of your RSE 4.5s. I'm just going to go ahead and connect this, however, today in the fashion of utilizing uh, these two connectors running out of the audio output, the main out on my audio box, and then I'm going to plug this side into my ARIS monitors. Let's go ahead and do that. And now I've connected the audio output, the main audio out of my audio box I2, into the auxiliary in on the front of my ARIS E4.5s. Now the last thing I need, of course, is to record some audio, so I'm going to make use of a blue microphones baby bottle microphone and we're going to connect this to the audio box utilizing an XLR cable we'll connect this to the channel 1 input on the audio box i2 now that that is done I'm going to make sure that I have the 48 volt button engaged on the audio box, turn up the gain knob a little bit on the audio box, and now we're going to engage the record button in Capture Duo, and you can see immediately my signal's bouncing around, and check, check, one, two, two. You can see that that's working, and I'm ready to start recording now. Uh, so all I need to do uh, is start recording. I'm going to hit the record button here in Capture Duo. Two, one, two, check, 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 one, two, 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 two. Okay, and now I've done my recording and utilized my blue baby bottle to do that. And now I'm going to check that recording. I'll hit stop a couple times to back up or hit the rewind button right here. One last thing you want to do, make sure that the mix knob right here is turned all the way to the right to playback. This way you're going to hear what's coming out of the iPad. Turn the volume up just a little bit on your ARIS E4.5 monitors, turn the main volume up a little bit on your audio box, and we'll turn the record arm off as well in Capture Duo. Let's hit play. Two, one, two, check, 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 one, two, 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 two. And there you have it, guys. That's uh, how easy it is to be able to record utilizing Capture Duo on the iPad with an audio box i2, run everything out into a set of Personas Eris E4.5 monitors. So this can essentially be your studio. Now, of course, uh, you're going to need a little bit more than an iPad. And uh, if you want to start getting into mixing and uh, mixing your audio, you can use Studio One. And we suggest checking out our laptops at PCAudioLabs.com. You can get a Pro Audio laptop to pair up with this setup. Use the AudioBox i2 with your PC Audio Labs Pro Audio laptop and you're good to go. Of course these monitors will work uh, just the same without audio interface, but you can see that's how easy it is to set up utilizing the AudioBox i2 with an iPad and Capture Duo and uh, very easy to start recording. So uh, we want to uh, of course remind you guys that if you have questions, comments, anything else that we can uh, help you out with, please make sure to get in touch with us. Looking for a great microphone to do some recording recording with, check out Blue Mics. You also want to check out uh, the Personas Audio Box i2 Studio from Personas, which will give you a set of headphones, a microphone, the audio box, and uh, Studio One software from Personas all in one box. It's a quick and easy recording package. Uh, everything that you see here uh, from Personas is available on PCAudioLabs.com. You can check out our audio hardware section. That's where you can purchase these monitors, the audio box i2, purchase the audio box i2 studio and plenty of other personas hardware and software so make sure to visit us at pcaudiolabs.com now as always guys if you have questions comments anything else that i can do for you please make sure to get in touch on your favorite social media network right here on this video or visit us on our websites pcaudiolabs.com and obedia.com as always guys i am brian with obedia and pc audio labs thank you for tuning in and until next time happy music making to you and take care Today's Pro Audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your Pro Audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. 
Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.